Since its founding 100 years ago, the Communist Party of China has led China to make enormous achievements at home. China is now the world's second largest economy, the largest recipient of foreign direct investment, and one of the world's largest consumer markets. Its GDP has exceeded the 100 trillion yuan threshold. Experts have spoken highly of the role the CPC played in the transformation of China over the past century. Let me first of all recognize and acknowledge the achievement of China, which has over the last half century moved from low-income country to middle-income country and is now on course to be a high-income country. For decades, you've been achieving continuously high growth rates that are unparalleled in the history of the world economy. Today, both the party and the state are rooted in the meritocratic principles which were so central to Chinese civilization. At the core of the state is the Communist Party, the brain and the leader of both the state and society. Over the last 100 years, we have seen China rejuvenate, we have seen them reform and open up. Economic miracle that we are talking about in China is really about the leadership. And uh, CPC to have been at the helm of leadership in China means that they have had a vision, they have had a, you know, a, a direction for China that has helped China you know, move from one level to, to another. So in my view, I think CPC has been very, very successful to move China from um, a poverty-inclined country early in the 40s um, to reform and open up and finally be a moderate, prosperous society in all aspects. Uh, so for me, I think this only happens in China and this is why we talk about it being an economic miracle. The Communist Party of China basically serves as the, as the core, thrives on the sincerity, integrity and commitment of the, the leadership and from that stems the people-centric policy and the China model which is based on performance, resilience, performance, integrity. I do not think that there is any way that China could have achieved what it has achieved without the CPC because basically what CPC does is it creates the conditions that allow people to work for prosperity. If a country and the people of the country are going to become prosperous, certain conditions have to be there. You need stability, you need order, you need strong governance, you need predictability on a conceptual level, you need um, an industry base, and you need infrastructure on a technical level. And uh, the CPC has succeeded in creating these conditions uh, in a way that no other uh, poor country has been able to do.